Barcelona preparing here to be a part of the opening act of another major European club season. An epic tale lies ahead, a footballing drama to unwind over the course of the next ten months. One where the central cast, both team and individual, will get to write their own story should they survive long enough. This episode one. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. So it's back, bigger and better than ever before. We hope everybody is ready for another ride on the emotional roller coaster. Bring it on, Peter. I'm looking forward to a competition that always delivers entertainment, whether through its football or indeed its supporting cast of, of emotions. Neither of these teams will want a, a trip back to the drawing board after this, so I think we can expect something quite lively. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Genk have a free kick. Dembele gets it back. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. PK. Danny Alves tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, Bamian! Oh, that's a fine save! Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Away from immediate danger. Pique drives it forward. Danny Alves. And here's Dembele. And he just whacks it away. Anything, Jim, to pick out of these early exchanges? Well, both sides. It's Dembele! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be outmuscled. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Real chance! Just off target. Look, I'm sure he'll deny it, Peter, but the keeper didn't have that covered. Daniel Alves. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. That's put paid to a promising move. Genk have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. And it's Aguero. Roberto is charging up on the overlap. And 
That's been repelled. Daniel Alves. And here's Aubameyang. Jordi Alba provides an outlet. Towering header! Good delivery, no joy. No, that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to, uh, to pick out. Aubameyang. Dembele. Dembele! And for a moment, time stood still. Oh, that was great pressure to force the initial error, Peter. It's the perfect example as to why this is a favourite tactic of a lot of teams these days. Plays it out wide. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. And it's Aguero. Daniel Alves. Aubameyang. He's there to receive it. And that has been cleared. It's Dembele! Goal! Barcelona! It is a good finish. The odds were against him. Little matter. Dembele really showed good strength there. Held his man off, didn't let himself get bullied, and got his effort away. Maintained control. Barcelona break the deadlock. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Genk keep the ball, but can't do anything meaningful with it. Well, the score's only 1-0, but that doesn't tell the full story. Coached through there. Roberto, Barcelona are in control here on the brink of half-time. Daniel Alves, the breakthrough came in the final moments of the first period, and it's 1-0. Dashing forward at pace. Jordi Alba. Obamia. Cuts it out. That's a throw. Danny Alves. Obama Yang. Oh, good take in a good area. Clears it out of harm's way. And that'll be the final action of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Barcelona head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Well, if he's serious about trying from this range, I think he, he must feel he can generate the power. Big ask. Oh, smart save, he had plenty to do. Absolutely terrific, terrific reflexes, goalkeeping at its very best. Keeper sends it forward. Dembele battles to win it back. Aguero. 
that's a brilliant interception. Aguero really just wasn't quick enough then. Well, his thinking certainly wasn't. Didn't make use of what I felt were some very good options. That always looked inevitable. The defence dealt with that really well. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, Peter, and it looks like this defence will go tooth and nail to prevent him from, um, from getting another. Good idea, just poorly executed. Gets it upfield. It's Dembele. Aguero. Nicely measured pass. Face to face with... He's gone for it! Oh, so close to what would have been a memorable goal. He was set on rounding it off in fitting style, but he couldn't make it fit. Daniel Alves. What are you thinking? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour. Roberto. <laughs> and the defence can get it clear. Aubameyang. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Forward it goes. Hoists it forward, goes long. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. And Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Just has to be done. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Jordi Alba. Daniel Alves. Aubameyang. That's not the ball he wanted. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Nicely controlled. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Genk are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Genk ran themselves into the proverbial cul-de-sac there. Deftly done. Has a pop! Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punch, shapes to shoot! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Well, it was just some way we're passing that let the opposition in then and I have to say a very lucky escape you lose it there you expect to be punished Barcelona need to hold on for a few more moments that's 
ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Just brushed off the ball there. Barcelona certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. And there goes the final whistle. Barcelona starts as they wanted to start. All three points, the first three points, crucially. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Well, they've laid down a marker with such a good opening win, and they're saying.